done the same in New York when we played Giant Stadium. We played Radio City as well. Uh, just be, just to do a gig in a smaller place, just for a completely different atmosphere. It's quite interesting to do it. In fact, it's, I found it a lot more nervy doing that than doing the stadium gigs, you know, because you're right on top of everyone. You can see everybody's face. It was actually quite difficult to try and distribute tickets fairly as well, you know, because there is a scalping problem that I'm sure a lot of people are aware of. And um, we wanted them to go to fans. You know, and people buy them in bulk and then a lot of people miss out. So we had to try and figure out a way to distribute the tickets fairly, you know. But um, luckily we are able to sort of allocate roles and they've sort of emerged really rather than being designated to each other. Um, it's just that we don't tread on each other's toes too much when we're making music and when we're you know, doing the manager. Fletch does a lot of that, yeah. takes on a lot of that sort of stuff, talking Luck, to uh, people. Luckily I'm not creative one bit. <laughs> <laughs> there are times when it, you know, it can be a bit of a pressure, particularly when you're on the road and you know you have to make like 20 different decisions about some really stupid things and some really important financial things and all that kind they of always stuff. change as well that pressure mounts up and it can cause tension and stress and all that stuff but but saying, saying that i don't think we'd like it any other way exactly we